Sit down. Thanks. Man, I've been hearing some mighty fine reports of your work as a frontier marshal. Well, you have. And I've got a job that I think is just about your size. Now, Colonel Medford, if it's cleaning up any more towns that you want, I just... This is a much bigger job than that. One that may decide the future of the entire West. Well, how's that? There have been increasing attacks on the overland mail. Stagecoaches being looted. Equipment destroyed. Pony Express riders ambushed. Congress wants action has ordered me to stop these outrages. That's why I sent for you. Well, now, don't you think that's more of a job for an army than just one man? No, these attacks aren't the work of scattered bands of Indians and outlaws. Oh, they're not. No, they're much too well organized for that. I have a hunch there's something else behind it. Oh, and you want me to find out what that is, huh? Exactly. You know anything about this country? Oh, sure, that's the Silver Creek La Paz district. I know that like a book. I'd start my investigation there. That seems to be the center of the trouble. Now, here's a letter to Captain Hinton at La Paz in case you need help. Well, now, Colonel Medford, I haven't even accepted the job yet. <laughs> but I'll be on my way to La Paz within an hour. Pick up a couple of sidekicks along the way. Are you sure they can be trusted? Sure, they're my right and left arm. Good. We can't take any chances. Washington's depending on us to get the mail through. Well, I'll do my best. Fine. Doggone, Jim. I, I'm kind of halfway sorry you caught up with me when you did. How's that, Sierra? Well, if, if you hadn't, I, I'd been halfway to our gold claim in California by now. Well. Our gold claim isn't nearly as important as getting this Overland mail business settled. Uh -huh. Well, that, that mail don't mean nothing to me. I, I never got no letters in my life. If I did get one, I, I couldn't read it. Sierra, in spite of the fact that you can't read, carrying the mail is important to the development of the West. Oh, yeah, I, I suppose it is. We're going to do the job right, though. We we better get hold of Buckskin Bill. Oh, don't worry about that. We'll pick him up somewhere between here and La Paz. He's scouting for a wagon train somewhere along the trail. What is it? Horses. It's engine horses. Indian horses, are you sure? I can't hear no sound of shoes on the rocks. They're coming this way. Get under cover. You understand their lingo. What are they talking about? They're saying that they're gathering to attack a wagon train somewhere in Snake Canyon. Maybe that's the one we're looking for, the one Buckskin's with. Well, Buckskin had no more than bring a wagon train through Snake Canyon? Well, whoever it is, we've got to warn him. Come on, mind up and ride. for, Greg? Find out who's running this outfit, me or Buckskin Burke. He wants to take the old river trail, but it's 50 miles closer by Snake Canyon. Sure, it's shorter by Snake Canyon. But you'll run us into Indians like you did those freighters last year in Santona Pass. I ain't taking this wagon train 50 miles out of its way because you're scared of Indians. I ain't talking for myself, Greg. Mr. Crabtree hired me to scout this train safe into La Paz. Yeah, and he hired me as wagon boss. What am I supposed to do when my wagon boss and scout disagree? Follow your wagon boss. He knows the country. As far as Indians are concerned, you're liable to run into them anywhere. That sounds like sense to me, Burke. All right, Greg. Get on the way and no further arguments. Right. Get run! Yeah. 
been too bad for you if Burke had been able to keep this train out of Snake Canyon. Nobody's keeping this train out of the canyon. I'm getting paid to stop this old mail equipment from getting to La Paz, and I'm collecting it. You are if the Indians do their part. You deliver them guns like you was told, didn't you? Sure. And they agreed to ambush the wagons somewhere in the canyon. And stop worrying about us and get back to the Fluminum's men. Keep working on them Pony Express riders. Canyon, we'll send the Overland freight wagons in first. Burke, you go ahead with them. Is that Snake Canyon? Yeah, we're just pulling into it. We won't if he's got any sense. Still thinking about Indians, Burke? I'd hate to be in that narrow canyon if they jumped us. There come two horsemen. It's Jim Lane and Sierra Pete. Jim, Sierra! Let's get it. Turn your wagons and head for the river. Indian? Oh, a whole bunch of them. They're laying for you up in Snake Canyon. It's a lie, a trick. But it won't work, and I'll drill the smell Oh, no, you won't. Take his gun, Buckskin. Hey, look at him. Indian scouts. Yeah, and they'll signal every move we make. Bert, take charge of the train. Uh, now you're talking, partner. All right, Jim. Let's head the wagons for the river. Maybe you've got a chance if you get across the river before they attack. Let's get the wagons for the river. Yeah, yeah. It sure took all the fight out of him when I got the chief. Well, you certainly got here just in time to save our lives. Yeah, and to save the Overland Mail equipment, too. Overland Mail? Yes, it's going on to La Paz. I wonder if I can persuade you to join up with us that far. Sure, we're going that way. You make Burke your wagon boss. Sierra and I'll scout a couple of hours ahead to see that the trail's clear. Thanks. We'll all feel a lot safer. Now. You two didn't find me just by accident. I know that much. What's in the wind? Someone's trying to smash the Overland Mail. You two detailed to stop him? Yeah. Undercover, of course. Well, you won't get nowhere without me. What's my part, monsieur? You stay with the wagons. We'll go on ahead, meet you in La Paz. We'll talk about it there. Doggone, 
Jim, huh? I, I was kind of expecting some excitement here. Here we are, halfway to La Paz, and I ain't even seen a prairie dog yet. <laughs> You'll see plenty of excitement. Those shots came from over that ridge. Yeah, yeah, No use chasing them, Sierra. You have a look at that hombre there. to get you. Got me in the shoulder. Well, you better take it easy. Hey, Jim. Uh, Jim, that, that engine I just knocked over, he ain't no engine. What are you talking about? No, he ain't no engine. He's a white man painted to look like an engine. Oh. Well, that just goes to prove that Colonel Medford's hunch is right. There's more than Indians behind this Overland Mail trouble. Hey, Jim, here comes the coach. Oh, that's lucky for him. We'll put him on it. But don't say anything about that white Indian you just shot. I got you. Mr. Chadwick, you and my father are doing a wonderful work. The West owes you a great deal for your help in building it up. Well, I'd have known you were Tom Gilbert's daughter even if you hadn't told her. He's filled up with that same kind of enthusiasm. He can't talk about anything else but his stage lines, the Pony Express, and the importance of Overland Mail to civilization. <laughs> Oh, what's your trouble here? Pony Express rider. What's Bill Cody? Yeah, the Indian guy. He needs a doctor bad. Hmm. Ah, that's a funny thing. Indians usually scalp their victims. Well, uh, we got to him too quick. Uh. Mister, may I speak to you a minute? Well, of course. I'm Barbara Gilbert. My father's president of the Overland Stage Lines. He'll be very grateful to you for what you've done. Well, I haven't done anything that anyone else wouldn't have done. Maybe not, but I'd like to tell him anyway. What's your name? Jim Lane. This here coyote, Sierra P. I'm sure glad to meet you, miss. What happened to the mail? Did the Indians get it? No, his pony's out there a little ways. I'll go pick it up in a minute and take the mail on through to La Paz. Oh. Guess we'd better get rolling. stages are ready for delivery, and if the Overland Company keeps on having trouble, it'll land that million-dollar mail contract right square in my lap. Sure done all right by yourself, haven't you, Chadwick? Well, not bad for a maverick that started business in one small adobe store. And when I get the Overland passenger business and mail subsidy, I'll then be about the biggest man in this territory. Yeah, hey, sure will. Oh, uh, tell me, have you had any report from Greg yet about the wagon train bringing out that new equipment for the Overland Company? No, oh, not yet. If he obeys orders and steers that wagon train into Snake Canyon, the Indians will have that Overland stuff. Well, anyway, you can count on Greg taking care of his part of it. And uh, what's the Puma been doing? Uh, that half-breed ran into plenty of trouble yesterday. What happened? A couple of strangers killed one of his men, Blake, over near Castle Rock, right after Puma's way late a Pony Express rider. Yes, I know all about that. I was on the stage when they held it up and put that wounded rider aboard. But I didn't hear them say anything about a killing. I got Blake. Was he dressed as an Indian? Well, sure, those were your orders. I know, that's too bad. Come on. I'm going to look up those two fellows. See if they're in La Paz. I want to have a talk with them. Well, 
I don't know whether they're still in town, Chadwick. <laughs> Why are you so interested in them? <laughs> I was rather impressed with that fellow Lane, that's all. I sort of thought I'd like to hire him. Well, I tried to do that myself. They're not in the market for jobs. Going to California, I believe, to look for gold. Well, so long. Hey, Jim. Why don't you and me go get us something to eat? I don't think Buckskin will be here for a long time. <laughs> You're always hungry, aren't you? Uh-oh, you don't eat now. There's Buckskin. Yeah. Roll right on through into the corral. Hank, come get this horse. Hey, Buckskin, you made good time. Yeah, sure pushed him the last 10, 15 miles. <laughs> well, now we can go get something to eat. Huh? I'm starving. Me too, a couple of wolves. <laughs> Hi, Buckskin. Well, hello, Taylor. <laughs> I ain't seen you in a coon's age. Tis quite a spell. What you doing in this man's town? Working for a polecat named Darson, and I don't like my job. <laughs> Why don't you up and quit him? Can't. He got me out of a shooting scrape over at Laringo. Threatens to turn me over to the law if I get hostile. Why don't you fix him so he can't talk? No. He's too fast on the draw for me, and I never did learn how to shoot a man in the back. What are you doing here, Buckskin? Looking for a job? Well, I might be, if the pay's right. Try the Overland Mail. They want drivers that can handle a six-gun. I might do that, Taylor. Thanks for telling me. I got some friends waiting for me, but I'll see you later, bud. It's all right, Buckskin. The Overland's hiring drivers. You reckon I could find out anything by joining up with them? Hey, it certainly would help to have a man on the inside. Well, Dad, that'd be kind of risky for him, wouldn't it? Yeah, but we can ride along as passengers. Yeah, then that's settled. I'll go over and apply for a job right now. We'll wait for you on the inside. Hey, Greg. You should have got rid of that scout buckskin when he started arguing about taking the wagon train into Snake Canyon. I was fixing to bump him off when his two pals came along. We'll never get over out of business if they keep getting new equipment in here. Well, I didn't think that buckskin... You're not supposed to think. Just do as I tell you on the next job. What job? Silver Creek stage. It's leaving here tomorrow morning with a load of important stuff, but no passengers. A year to go to the... It's all set. I'm driving the stage to Silver Creek in the morning. Good. We'll ride along as passengers. Not this trip, Jim. Well, why not? This is a special trip. Ain't carrying nothing but mail. They've had it piling up in there for a week. We better trail along after him, huh? Yeah. We'll ride along about 20 minutes behind him, so nobody will suspect anything. Good. Say, miss. You got any buffalo steak? Yes, sir. The best in La Paz. Bring me in a hunk of rare, will you? Goodbye, Mr. Lane. Goodbye, Miss Gilbert. I was hoping to see you more often here in La Paz, but Father decided at the 11th hour to take this trip. Well, I hope it's a pleasant one. Thank you. Yeah, I thought you said there wasn't going to be no passengers. I did. But what can you do when the owner says he and his daughter are going along? Well, Jim and me will be trailing along just a few minutes behind you. Adios. We'll get the horses. I just found out something. Yeah? What? The stage that Buckskin Burke is driving to Silver Creek is carrying a lot of gold. It'll be in the strong box. Your bomb won't destroy it. I'm aiming to get that gold. You mean we're aiming to get that gold? Oh, hey, Lane! Say, where's my old sidekick, Burke? 
I think I got a job for him. Oh, he already has a job. He just drove the Silver Creek stage out. The Silver Creek stage? Holy cat, you'll be killed. What do you mean? I was down at the bar and I overheard a podcast say he'd put a time bomb on the boot of that stage. Who was he? What was his name? It was a fellow. Who fired that shot? Somebody fired the shot from the alley. Did you get him, Jim? No. They either got away or they're too well covered. This whole bunch is in cahoots. Stay to carry plenty of gold. We'll take them. You mean for us or for the boss? You won't know about this gold. Now you're talking, Puma. We was doing all right for ourselves till so you started taking orders from that, Umbre. The Puma takes orders from nobody. Sure, sure. I know you don't. Here comes the stage. Indian trouble. When we get back to La Paz, young lady, you're returning east. But, Father, my place is out here with you. Springs. 